Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Studio 28E and I'm back with a journal that I made. Uh, this one is called Ode to the Sunflower and it's a kit that I've developed and it's in my Etsy shop. So if you'd like to take a look there um, and purchase the kit, you may do so. Um, otherwise, I will be putting this journal in my Etsy shop for sale later on. It's 44 pages, um, double that. It would be 80 some pages front and back. As a single signature, stitched on the spine, this is lace I made myself, and then I intertwined this, to, calling it scrubby uh, yarn, I guess it is, and I laced that through the lace to give it a little bit more, little bit more texture and a little more interest. I've used some torn fabric that I've had for over 20 years. We lived in Connecticut, and when I moved out here, I brought my fabrics with me, and that's where this fabric is from. And it's perfect colors to go with the sunflowers. These little sunflowers are punched and inked on the edges with buttons that are vintage. I know they're vintage. They came from my grandfather's old Dickies clothes he wore years ago when I was a child. My grandmother saved all the buttons. And here's some more of that scrubby yarn. So it's just got this ribbon cloth ribbon that was torn from fabric as a closure it's attached on the spine it's underneath the lace it's not going to go anywhere this is printed on vellum i printed it um in reverse so the color is actually on the other side of the paper and then i covered it with some uh, liquid text and it brought the colors through and we've got some kind of burlap trim on the edge here Inside cover, we have a pocket with a painting and a little blurb here that says home is where your roots are. In the pocket, there are a couple of journaling cards that are held together with a brad. These are images from the kit. I've added one of those little sunflowers here that I made. There's another image from the kit or images from the kit. And this little card is from the kit and I kept next time. It's three cards. I kept them together and folded them and backed it with yellow lined paper for writing. This is an image from the kit. It's just a piece of bright orange paper. This is from the kit. Journaling card. I've lined it with yellow paper. This is paper that I dyed with food coloring. It's kind of orangey. All of the pages have been distressed. I printed this image from the kit on this page, added the word sunshine, which is, all the words are in the kit as well. Here's a lined page that I designed from the kit. Here's another page from the kit with sunflowers here. There's a little tab I made with one of the um, images from the kit. It says like a single sunbeam on a warm summer day, there is an exuberance brilliance in a sunflower it has this it says no matter where you go no matter what weather brings always bring your own sunshine by anthony diagio this paper was actually dyed using um botanicals you can see maybe there's like a leaf pattern here and then I also used a grid, put them on a grate, and I made that. These colors were from yellow flowers. There's some little bubbles on it. The water actually boiled. It's lined paper from the kit. Here's a tuck spot I made from the kit and did some punching on the edge. Here's a card from the kit that's been lined. Some tickets from the kit. You can cut them apart and use them for duck spots, or you can write on them. It's the back side. Here's another little tuck spot from the kit. Here's a little card from the kit that says, Keep your face towards the sunshine, and the shadow will always will fall behind you. And that was Walt Whitman. And I've backed that with some lined paper. If you want to write on that. There's a piece of lined paper from the kit. Here's an image from the kit printed on vellum. More lined paper from the kit. This is from the kit. Here is a little um, collage that I made with a little oval from the kit. 
and kind of a gauzy yellow bow I made. And this is from the kit. Children sitting on a fence. It's a silhouette with some sunflowers. This little pocket came from the kit. It's been punched and here's a little card. That was from the kit and I backed it with yellow cardstock. Here's a tag from the kit. Keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadow. It's what sunflowers do. Helen Keller. And it was backed with cardstock. There's a paper clip that I made. More of that bright yellow paper. Here's another uh, little blurb from Katie Ness. And here's some lined paper from the kit. There's the other side of the botanical. You can see more of the leaves. Here's some sunflower paper from the kit. I've made a pocket here with two journaling cards from the kit. Here's a little tuck spot from the kit with another one of the sunflowers that I made. Lined page from the kit. There's a tuck spot with a card in it from the kit. It's lined with card stuck. Here's an image from the kit. It's a painting. This is from the kit. Here's another little collage that says bloom where you are planted with some of that gauze type fabric. There's another image from the kit. There's a seed packet from the kit. It's not a packet, it's just the card of the kit, of the packet. With a tuck spot that's also been punched in the word seeds another paper clip from the kit it's holding on this tag from the kit there's another page there's another envelope and some more index cards there's another collage made with another one of the little sunflowers it can be used as a tuck spot there's some of the fabrics There's an envelope from, that I made using uh, part of the kit. Lined paper, some of that bright orange paper. This can be used as a tuck spot and the yellow sunflower by the brook in the autumn beauty stood. Here's a tag with some more of that fabric. And here's a paper clip with that fabric and another vintage button. There's the back side of the children with lines. There's a sunflower poem by L. Gail Orff. Writing page. Whereas the back side of the sunflowers printed on vellum. Some more writing with the sunflowers. That bright orange paper. Another tuck spot with another journaling card with lines on the back. There's another journaling card in a pocket. Those are from the kit. Here's some more of the botanicals. You can see more of a flower leaf kind of thing. Here is another collage with some more fabric from the kit and a or the image is from the kit. The fabric is from my stash. It's another image from the kit. The other side of the lined paper. Here's the other side of that. Uh, a page where it had the image on the orange paper that I did with food coloring. This orange sheet. It's a writing page. Here's another tuck spot lined with some fabric I had. The images from the kit. Here's the back side. A little bit of writing space. I put the word bright. And here's another pocket in the back. With some more of the journaling cards. If you're interested in this journal, please check out my Etsy site. It'll be listed there uh, by tomorrow. And here's the back side of the journal. It's one of the images from the kit. The journal is made out of two layers of cardstock. The front has that gauze fabric on it, and the inside has some of the uh, green fabric that I had in my stash so I will list this tomorrow and I'll put the links in it to my uh, 
Etsy shop in the video. So you'll have that. And um, hopefully I'll hear from you. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.